Usha or Sheka? Usha or Sheka? Yeah, which one? Both. Hey, no! You have Both. to choose one. No! Both. No! I don't know. They're none. <laughs> no! You have to choose. Usha or Sheka? Welcome to another episode of Honestly Speaking, the only show where you get your favorite celebrities and stars to speak honestly to answer all your bugging questions and we get them to speak honestly. Today's guest is an actress and a brand ambassador. She's also a traveler who has traveled to many, 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 many places in the world. When we get back, Jackie Apia, aka Auntie Enyonam of Yolo fame, speaks honestly. I'm going out with Dede. What do you mean you're going out with Dede? Have you got Daddy's permission? Please tell him that I... Ah, you took to invent some excuse on her behalf. Ah. Where, where exactly are you going? First to Dede's house, then to... to... Dede's house for what? She wants me to accompany her to the hospital to see her mother. Is that necessary? But it is my friend. So what? Aren't you from different families? Does she even come here when daddy's around? Listen, you follow her lifestyle at your own race school. Ah. Now, wait a minute. Isn't this whole thing about the two of you hanging around, gossiping and planning for Marsha's party? Oh, that's not true. Did they say she's not even going for the party? Huh? <laughs> What's happening to you in Pusha? Abe, you do tell me about your private life. I don't have a private life. You'll be the first to know if anything has started in my private life. Hmm. You know, sometimes I really can't believe it. I mean, what? Is your dad that stops you from getting with guys? True or false? <laughs> maybe false. What do you mean, maybe? I'm the same as I've always been. You know me, Dede. Same at school, same at home. I just don't entertain guys. I've always believed that all guys are bad. All of them. Anyway, I think I'm beginning to feel the same way too. So something indeed is happening to you in Pusha, isn't it? You know it. <laughs> Could you, like, come with me to this place later on this evening? What excuse would I give my father? I don't know, think of something. Hello. Hello, my love. You're what? Who is this? Can't you just guess? Kofi is here. I don't like these games. First, you put me to trouble with that crazy letter you wrote, which my father is still angry about. Oh, did he see? Yes, he did. Somehow he did. But it's not like I wanted to receive a letter from you anyway. And as if that's not enough, you made me think this call was from school. Now my father is asking me to take her headmistress number so that he can speak to her later. If I knew it was you, I shouldn't have. Why are you creating problems for me? Teddy bear? Is it some kind of food? No, the ordinary teddy bear, the one girls like to have around them. The one that dangles in taxis? or stuck at the wind, at back windscreen. Is that what you mean? Yes, yeah, something like that, but a bigger one. What? Are you a taxi driver? Oh, daddy. Please, I cannot be part of that. My buddy, you know, go take one minute self. Ah, when your brother talking, they make her feel bad self. Huh? Mommy, everything be okay. Yeah. Yes, sir. Hey, you. Oh, yeah. I said, leave me alone. Ah! If you hadn't misbehaved towards me, would all this confusion come about? I don't say I don't force. Yeah? But you just come represent me without the money. Daddy, please throw him out. He's such a nuisance. The devil incarnate. 
for me I beg, make you no boy. This one I reject. Shut up, you blurry fool! Oh, I forgot she bojidi. You are overreacting. Overreacting indeed. Anytime I see this hopeless boy. He's either fondling with girls in the street or fooling with friends under the influence of alcohol. As a responsible father, is this the sort of person to set eyes on in my own house? In my own house! Grandma quickly. Oh, Grandma too. Sleep by this time. Anyway, how's everybody in the village? I hope Cyril is behaving himself. What? What do you mean he left? Escape from where? Did I send my son to prison? Sister, just stop what you're telling me. Where is my son? Good morning. Morning. Um, listen. I really don't like how you keep interfering in serious life. I don't like it. I really don't like it at all. I don't. And you know, we haven't found Cyril after you picked him up from the village. As for today, by all means, I'll go find him. Please, so, because I haven't slept all night. I haven't slept all. I've looked everywhere for him. Me too, I don't sleep. Oh. Aluta, since your call come, look, the sleep come up for my uh, eye stop self. We, look, I don't go lie to you. I call la, you, you fool today off. But if you went for him all the way in the village, the most sensible thing to do is make sure he enters his house safely, isn't it? And you know, you catch my tent. You, then your sis. What, what, what do you wrong you? Huh? So yeah, he, he, he do something where he misbehave. So you carry him go village, say he, he, he punish him. It didn't make sense to you people. Is that your business? Is it your business? Oh, for that. He, he, he meet to me, my my picking. Indeed, your picking. How is it your picking? Have you ever paid his school fees before? Huh? Nobody make no talk that nonsense. Give me a cry. You only you were born now. Hey, hey, don't make it look like me and you had a child together, okay? You know what you did to me seventeen years ago. That was shame to my family. You should be even ashamed of yourself. You stand there and tell me that. Don't come talk that nonsense. Give me oh. Make no come talk that nonsense. Give me that thing. I don't want guys self. Ah, what be that? You, you come do my top say you, you, like, like me. Want do something? What that? We know that. Ah, you 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 you, you take him go the village away. Something will happen. Ah, what you go talk? Huh. You do be meet and killer. Like something go happen. What you go talk? They come charge from my top. I say me me. I do something. What can you do that? Auntie Enyo now, I just remembered. My grandmother said I should ask you if you are selling wedding gowns at your show. Your grandmother? No. You know what? Let me hurry up and go and tell her that you don't have some. Later.
welcome back jackie apia is in the studio on our set <laughs> with us and i'm so excited i'm so honored to have you here welcome thank you welcome this this is a dream come true for Aww. me I'm, i appreciate it <laughs> oh that's all right uh, yes uh, please tell me what's happening in your life right now what is how, how are you even feeling how are you feeling today what's today saying <laughs> <laughs> well today i'm feeling blessed yeah um to be part of today you know thank you um <laughs> Yeah, I'm blessed. I feel, I feel yeah. blessed every day. Yeah. yeah. What's happening? What's happening with, you know, Jackie Apia? What's happening with you now? What, what is what is new? Ah, same old, same old story. Old story. Um, uh, go on set, come home. You know, um, I just finished filming um, a documentary. I'm done with that, so I'm resting right now. I'm supposed to be on set in Nigeria. Um, towards the ending of the month um, so I'll be flying to Lagos yeah. you know so it's just the yeah. same old routine and this is a very spicy one we saw everybody saw you know um, you know sorry <laughs> everybody saw your house the, the grand opening of your mansion let me call it that I I would say that you know can I ask is this something that you've always wanted is it a dream come true would you say that you you know being able to open up that house and finish building it is like a dream come true. <laughs> well, what, what you're seeing on social media today is something I started 15 years ago. Wow. Um, um, it was not overnight. Wow. Um, it's been 15 years of yeah. hard work. Yeah. Um, there were times where we're even filming, we're even filming next to the house when it was uncompleted. And some colleagues would laugh at me, like, hey, Jackie, won't you finish your house? Won't oh, you finish no. your house? Oh, hey, yeah. why can't you finish your house? Oh, you no. know, but I was busy doing other things. So I didn't have the time to concentrate on the house. So during COVID, when we couldn't travel, I couldn't shop, I'm like, you know what? <laughs> um, I was watching YouTube houses and I'm like, I saw a house that I liked and I'm like, oh, I wish I could have something like this. And then right. something came, I'm like, but you have your, your house, go and complete it. So I used the time to go and complete the house and finish yeah. it up, yes. But it's something that has been there for the past like 15 years yeah. now. Yeah, so it was it's not an a, overnight it's thing. It's a beautiful, beautiful project that you've completed. I saw it and I was like, wow, everybody is talking about it still till now. And <laughs> so I will commend you. I'll say congratulations. You know, I think you deserve it. I've Thank been watching you. you for a very, very, very Thank long you. time. So I think Thank you deserve you. it Thank and you. everything good yes. that comes I your did way. It took my took, yeah. took 15 years. Small, yeah. small, 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 yeah, small, I, I, small. I think know. I think you deserve mm -hmm. it. And yeah, um, are you before before we move to the questions? Are you working on any like spicy movie that like you feel like like it's going to really like make the airwaves this year or like next year for us to be really um. like expecting it? I just finished the movie that's currently on Netflix. It's okay. number one on Netflix right now. It's called A Taste of Sin. I've seen it. Yes, <laughs> With so, uh, Frank Raja? Yes, or? Samuel Yakubu directed yeah, um, it. Was, produced it um, okay. with Dominion TV. Okay, okay, okay. Um, yes, with um, James Gardiner, Majid okay, Michelle. Okay. Custom scenario. There's so many people. Okay, okay. Yes, yeah, so that's out now. Yeah. Uh, so you can watch that on it um, yeah. on Netflix. I've seen it, guys. I think you should see it. Something like that will, uh, you would love. So, um, let's move to the next segment which is you know where your fans now have questions for you where okay. you have to answer honestly and i need you to promise like you do this and say i promise to answer honestly <laughs> okay yeah, i promise to answer honestly. yes okay guys when we come back from the break jackie is answering all your grilling spicy firing questions Welcome back. This is Honestly Speaking and Jackie is ready to answer all the questions that you sent us. So please watch and listen carefully. <laughs> all right. So Jackie, for the first one, yeah. Dora Bot is asking um, in things we do for love, you know, you were scared of your father. Is it something that, you know, was just an act or in, in real life, were you really scared of the man? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Interesting. No, I was not afraid of him. It was just an act. Um, he's a lovely man. May his soul rest in perfect peace. He's passed away now, but um, he was a lovely man. Um, but whenever you're into character, you need to act the parts, right. you know. So I was just in character yeah. and acted, 
I still felt afraid yeah. of him. I yes, I would not so want well. to have a father like that, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think you did so well because a lot of people were confused or still are confused. Yes, yes. It was a really yeah. strict dad, yes. Yeah. And it used to be funny for me all the time on set, you know, but yeah. yes. Do you still go back and watch things we do for love? Is it something that you do? Like, yes, yes, I do once yeah. in a while. And then social media has this way of bringing things back yeah. to your doorstep. Yeah. Um, there's a scene that keeps trending. It goes it goes away for a while and then it comes back where I picked up a phone call and the guy says let me be your fire extinguisher yeah. you, know? <laughs> you know so yeah so things do go and come yeah. here so I, I right. do get to and how do you feel scenes. when you see those it's like nostalgia like I'm um, like oh I was too slim <laughs> <laughs> I was not much right in acting at all <laughs> I was a child, but I yeah. had fun doing it. I had yeah. so much fun doing it. Yeah. We've yeah. loved you since then, and we still love you, if that makes a difference. Oh, thank yeah. you. Welcome. Uh, second one, Simon or Simon from Tito. Yeah. He wants to know um, what you do for a living aside acting. So aside acting, um, I do endorsements for a lot of companies. Right. Um, um, we're in show business, so it's not only about the show, but it's about the business aspects of the show. And so um, if I attend programs, sometimes you see me attend a program, I'm not attending for free. I'm being paid for right. my, my appearance there, you know. So there's so many things that I do within the show business apart from acting. Also, I'm into real estate as well. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's a good thing to be in. Rich people are into real estate. <laughs> I'm, yeah. yeah. I'm on the small. I'm not. I'm not up today yet. Really I'm not up today yet. No, guys. If you feel like Jackie wasn't being honest right now in this <laughs> tiny segment, say something and trust me, we'll go and find Miss Jackie up here and bring her to come and answer your question. So please comment. I'm not worried though. I'm yeah. not worried. <laughs> Right, uh, next one. Someone from North Carolina, USA, uh, says he has watched you from Things We Do For Love till now and you are still relevant. What has helped you to stay on top always? Well, hmm. I would say God, right. um, hard work, dedication, um, um, my management, my manager, my family. Um, I listen to advice. Um, I accept criticism, um, good one, constructive one. Yeah. Um, and I don't see myself, you know, stardom has a way of making you feel like a god. You know, once people start raving at you, you begin to see yourself superior. Yeah. And I, I am the same old Jackie before I started acting, and that has remained in my head, you know. Yeah. I don't see myself above anyone. I relate to everyone the same way I used to relate yeah. to when i was not acting you know so it's it's kept me i've kept myself grounded you know i listen to advice you know and i don't see myself as a god yeah yes yeah, so but we see you as some sort of god in the, <laughs> you like know, you know it, in the it, industry it, it's not been easy it's not it's very very hard you know i try and keep myself away from trouble i i mind my own business you know um, I keep a small circle, you know, so my business is not out there, you know. And yes, it's, 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 it's been really, really, really hard. Yes, it's not easy. Yeah, but I think everyone can see that you're really particular. You know, you have put in a lot of work to uh, make sure that you keep the good, great, you know, solid image that you have. And we can all see it. I would appreciate you for that and yeah, commend you for that. It's been a lot of hard work you know? and dedication. Yeah, yeah. Yes, to the job. Yes. I think most of us only dream, you know, to be able to have that sort of control uh -huh. in this space and in the, in the industry. Yeah. And I, Congratulations, ma'am. I've said Thank this you. a thousand times. Yeah, I, I say <laughs> my own lane, you yeah. know. Yeah, you yeah. know, I mind my own business. Yeah. You know. It's good. We mind the business that pays you. Simple, <laughs> exactly. yeah. Exactly. Okay, uh, Simon again um, wants to know who you'd like, who you would like to date in the industry and why. Simon. Who would I like to date in the industry? Yeah, and why? <laughs> 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 oh my days wow i yeah. don't know i don't know no one for now but oh. never say never we never know yeah. you know but um for now i haven't seen anyone yet yeah you've yeah. been in the industry for a long time there's yes. no one ah uh, no uh -huh. guys you guys but you never know maybe someone job. will come along you know yeah I, I, yeah maybe there's a lucky yeah, one just, no one knows you know. what happened tomorrow yeah. so never say never okay <laughs> all right fair enough um sadibu from gambia wants to know whether you are as real as your character in yolo 
Uh, no, I'm not. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was a very honest <laughs> answer. <laughs> okay. Um, and your um, language is a very strict parent. Um, I wish I was like that. <laughs> yes, uh, I am strict to some extent, but um, I think um, the character in um, Yolo is very, very, very strict. Right. And um, I'm not up to that character. Yes. Right. I'm a bit. Um, I have probably thirty percent of. In your name or thirty-five percent of work. Okay. <laughs> yes. okay. So that's your answer. <laughs> no. Um, George George Best from Aflao wants to know um, that one question you hear being asked that people always ask you. Huh. Mm. <laughs> so when they write something negative on the blogs, and you haven't heard my side of the story, and you've just read what they've written, and you call me to ask me, is it true? I hate questions like yeah. that. It just upsets me, you know. Um, why would you pay attention to a faceless blogger who will write something, you know? And when you call me up or you see me, oh, I saw this on the internet, is it true? It pisses the hell out of me. Yeah. Yeah. I, so I, what would you rather they, they say? What would you rather they ask? No, you see, if you haven't heard my side of the story and you should know me, you should know that this is not true. This is not capable of something. This is not something Jackie can do, yeah. you know, and you haven't heard my side of the story. You haven't heard me giving attention to the story. Yeah. You should know it's not true. Yeah. Yeah. You know, a hundred percent. Yeah. So when you ask me, did, did this happen? I read this. Is it true? Yeah. Like, yeah. It's a bit disrespectful. Yes, if you hear way. my side of the story and you hear me trying to explain, then you can ask me, well, I heard you say this and this. But if you hear, if you don't see me give any attention to a silly story, don't ask me. Yeah. 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 Fair point. There's your answer. <laughs> um, Afrafat. Forgive me if I'm butchering your name. I'm so <laughs> sorry. But Afrafat from Medina wants to know if you had three wishes um, for it to be granted, what would they be? Just three solid wishes. I think everybody. Three wishes. <laughs> yes. Wow. Okay. So long life for my family and those that are close to me, myself. Yeah. That's one. The second wish would be money. Right. To have lots of Always. money. <laughs> to have lots of money. Always. And the third wish would be. I'll wish for 10 more wishes. Okay. <laughs> okay, why not 100? <laughs> 100 more wishes. <laughs> right, fair enough. I'll take the money one. That one is very crucial. Yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah. Um, Kofi Mole from Circle wants to know the craziest thing you've ever heard about yourself on social media. Hmm, interesting. Craziest, craziest thing. Craziest thing. The craziest thing I've heard on social media would be when the public or someone sat in his room and created a wedding for myself that I was not, I didn't even have an invitation to my own wedding. So who was the so, groom? So, exactly, <laughs> so they said I was getting married at a particular date, gave time, date, um, the thing that was about a few years ago, gave a date. They had the confidence to even give a date. I'm like, so and there's a wedding happening. I don't even have and attention. And I, have, I have an invitation to my own wedding. No. I don't have a dress to my own wedding. Okay, let's no. all sit here and see what's going to happen on the 26th of December. And then... The thing just came to pass and everyone kept mute about it as if nothing ever happened. I'm like, what? What happened to the big yeah, wedding that I was supposed to? Yeah, that's foul, guys. You know, so I was like, oh, I'm getting married and I don't even have an invitation to my own wedding. How that's sad. Absurd. Yeah, that's, that's absurd. So, you know, and it's sad that people will sit down in their houses and just write any story without any clarification. You know, what happened to good journalism? You know, it's sad that people don't go and find out, you know, investigate. They have something we call investigation, investigative journalism, where you go and investigate the story to find out, is there a wedding ground? Is there a wedding invitation? Like, pe find out, yeah. you know, and people just believe. And I would have believed. That's <laughs> why I would have. It's so, so sad. And, yeah. you know, I wonder that, would you do that to your mom? Would you do that to your sister? If I was your sister, would you do that? If I was your aunt, would you do that? They and, don't have morals, you know, no respect. So it's, it's, it's quite sad that people will just sit at home and write anything just for clickbait. Yeah. It's really sad, but people like that, yeah. I always leave them to God. Yeah. And mm. has there ever been a point where you felt like you wanted to take legal or physical action against, you know, people who you write know, all these lies? For me, I really don't care. It doesn't bother me, but you know, 
Sometimes you get friends, you get family tells you that, you know what, let's take legal action. You need to discipline them. You need to pull someone's in. Yeah. You know? Like, you know, I don't really have time yeah. for, to, to waste my time, yeah. my energy. That's money time. Let's waste some yeah. time, money time yeah. on some nobody. Pointless yeah, something. So <laughs> I don't give that person, um, yeah. person clouds. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. I respect yeah. that. Fair enough. Um, White from Weja says you've been his celebrity crush since childhood and he's asking if you'll be his sugar mommy. <laughs> <laughs> Please, you've got his quote according to his sense. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think a lot of people really want to ask that question. Like, would you be like someone's sugar mommy? Is it a thing? No, please, yeah. no. I will not okay, be a sugar so mommy. This whole combo ends there. There's no sugar mommy and ja no, sugar no, mommy, no. Jackie Apia. X. Nah. No. Nah. All right, guys, that's your answer. Uh, Jaden from Pokwasi wants to know if you play hard to get in real life like you do in YOLO. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Ah, do I play hard to get in real life? Uh, I guess so. Every woman plays yeah. hard to get. A little bit. You know? A lot, a lot of you know? it. Nobody else won't share one. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, know? <laughs> exactly, you know? Okay. You know, you need to, you make, you need to let the men suffer, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. A lot or a little? Uh, a lot. A lot. Fair <laughs> enough. Got it. Uh, Emily from Keta wants to know uh, what your biggest fear in the movie industry is. Ooh. Oh, my biggest fear in the movie industry that it could collapse if we don't get government and private sector to support us in the movie industry um, because. Nigeria is doing it. Nigeria support, government supports Nigeria, and that's why you see Nollywood everywhere. You yeah. see the music has gone global because yeah. they pay attention to the, the creative arts. And we need something like that in Ghana to sell Ghana on the map. And it's a form of tourism. It sells the country, you know. So if we get investors, government to help boost the industry, it will go a yeah. long way. It will, it, will, it will create employment for people, yeah. you know. It's not just the actors that benefit. We have it's, the industry is a big it's a big uh, industry. You, you create employment for so many people, for salmon, for cameramen, for costume design, for makeup artists, you know, for set designers. There's so many stuff. The list goes on and on yeah. and on. You know, so if we don't have the intervention of government and private sectors, I am afraid that we might not be able to take Ghana to the map like what yeah. the, the rest of yeah. our counterparts are doing around the world. Yeah. And is this something that you're willing or you know to fight for? Like, is it a course that you're willing to be involved? Of course in? not. I'm very yeah. passionate about the industry. You know, I'm very very passionate about the industry, and of course, yes, I I, I would fight for yeah. it. Yes, okay. To not make the movie industry yeah. die. No. Yeah. Okay, that's lovely. Uh, Belda. Uh, wants to know how you react to negativity from bloggers. I think you kind of answered this. Yeah, um, I pay no attention to any faceless blo blogger or writer or uh, website who writes something. Yeah, yeah. just like bye. I don't have time for they that. Don't exist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it don't exist. I just do my thing, you know, and ignore such yeah. negative stories. Yeah, I'm a happy person, so I don't like anything to penetrate. Yeah, like yeah. yeah. I don't like negative in. energy. So, yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, Hadi from Tempani wants to know your relationship with Pusha Offset. <laughs> Pusha Offset? Oh, yes. Pusha is such a sweet person. He's like a brother to me. He's always been a brother to me. He's a very sweet person. Yeah. He's not the character you see. Uh, <laughs> and um, um, yes, of course, I, I despise him on yellow. I do not despise <laughs> him in reality. Of course not. He's the most loveliest person you can be yeah. around. All right, so the final one before we move to the next segment. Uh, tell us about your first days on the things we do for love set. You know, is there any interesting thing that happened that we don't know about? Uh, well, that's or that so you want us to know? Ago. I just I just remember that I was just so happy to be on set. <laughs> I was so, so, so happy to do what I loved to do, um, which was acting, you know. Um, I, I guess I was a bit shy. Um, because if you watch the beginning, the first episodes, you probably see me peeping into the camera a bit, <laughs> you know. Yeah, but then, yeah, I, I got used to it and I bettered my craft along the yeah. way. And yeah, I, 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 I can't remember. I just remember that I was just yeah. so happy and excited to be on set. <laughs> so, and I remember that I think the first day I came, I didn't sh they didn't shoot with me. 
And um, I didn't care. I was just so happy that I was around <laughs> actors and everything. I came the next day. I think they didn't shoot with me again. The third day, yes. Then I eventually shot in my scene. And I was extremely happy, you know. Yes, yeah. I, I love it. And did you expect that things would turn out this way from just, you know, acting in that? Did you ever think or dream that, oh, me standing here on this Things We Do For Love said, like, my life in 15 years is just going to be a complete never, I, I, I never thought, 180. Honestly, I didn't, yeah. think, I didn't think so. I yeah. was just happy being in that space, you know. I loved everyone on set. You know, it was just one big family, yeah. you know. I was just so happy being there, yeah. you know. Yes, yeah. but I, I didn't know yeah. it would blossom to this. Yeah. Yeah, right. But now. I think God is good. God yes, has God been is, good. God has been exactly still is. God has been good, good. and we're grateful. I'm happy. Yes. I don't know. I'm just happy even just being around. <laughs> you here. So I think that's a testament of what He's done <laughs> yes. for you. Yes. And guys, this is how we come to the end of this segment of Honestly Speaking. I'm. This has been one of the most honest. Like she, I feel like she's been really honest. I don't oh. even have <laughs> any other, any bad thing to say. Mm -hmm. When we come back from the break, Jackie is going on the hot seat. We have rapid fire, like 10 solid questions where she's like, bah, 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 bah. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we'll talk after the break. Back, Jackie is in the hot seat and she's rapidly speaking to like rapidly firing. I don't think anybody <laughs> has had to do this before, so I'm very excited to be the first person. <laughs> very, very excited. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, so um, would you always, would you rather always be stressed or always be sad? Hey. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> None of that above. <laughs> you have to choose one. Would you like stress or sad? Yeah. Okay, sad because after when I sleep and I wake up, I'll forget yeah, everything. Be okay. Yeah. Okay, fair just, enough. I just need 30 minutes of sleep and that's yeah, it. Yeah, and then you're good. I'm fair good enough. to go. Fair enough. Uh, would you rather have unlimited money or unlimited love? This is you, Uncle. I want money. I'm not like unlimited money. Oh, please. Next question. I want money. Yeah, yeah. Um, Hmm. Would you rather YOLO too. or Things We Do For Love? Things We Do For Love. Why? Because that's, that's my, that's my yeah, starting that's point. Fair, you know? fair point. Yeah. Fair point. Um, things We Do For Love gave me the platform to be who I am today. So of course. Uh, definitely Things We Do For Love. Yeah, okay. Uh, would you rather never laugh again or never use a smartphone again? Never use a smartphone again. Yeah, who wouldn't want to be laughing? Like, would you want to be frowning <laughs> the whole day? <laughs> Uh, would you rather trip and fall on your way to accept an award or accidentally mention a wrong name when announcing the winner? Accidentally announce yeah, the trip wrong and name. Fall, dear. That's quite time, embarrassing. So yeah. That's very embarrassing. That's really, mm -mm. I'll choose the uh, to mention a wrong name. Yeah. 
Uh, mm, pusha or shaker? Pusha or shaker? Yeah, which one? Both. Hey, no, you have Both. to choose one. No, Both. no. I don't know. They're none. No. <laughs> <laughs> you have to choose. Pusha or shaker? Both. Mm -mm. Both. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Pusha. <laughs> okay, pusha is fair. No, okay, we try one last time. Pusha. Okay, shaker poo. <laughs> Guys. Can I try one last time? <laughs> Push up, shake her. Both. No. Both. I think she's really loyal. Like she can't mention one. She doesn't want anyone to like feel bad. Is that what it is? Like no, I love them both yeah? equally. Yes. Okay. Guys, this is the first time that like, it's like asking me who's my favorite child. Yeah. No. You so can't. Okay. You can't choose. Yeah. So. Okay, we take it. Push shake her. That's, <laughs> what, that's what we're taking. Push shake her. Push shake her is the <laughs> one. Oh. Yeah. Okay, uh, would you rather live without internet or live without AC or fun? Hey. Hmm. Hmm. That's a hard one. AC. Or fun or internet. 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 Hey, but what, internet. If, what if you get a place where it's airy, so you really don't need an AC or... So that's why I'll take internet, yeah. so I can go outside, yeah. go by the beach, yeah, 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 yeah. you know. Internet. So internet. Okay, good, good. Um, would you rather spend thirty thousand dollars on bags or clothes? Oh, wow. Interesting. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Bags or clothes? Wow. <laughs> uh, I think I'll um I'll choose bags because that's an investment I could sell afterwards right. if I don't want to right. use the bag again. Yeah, so I prefer bags. Is it more clothes. difficult to resell clothes? Yeah, yeah. it's probably more difficult yeah. to resell clothes, but bags are, yeah. you can get a resale value. Yeah, you can okay. resell your bags, so I'll choose bags. That's, that's a rich woman talking, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, last but one, would you rather give bad advice or take bad advice? Say that again. Would you rather give bad advice or take bad advice? Give bad advice or take bad advice? I would take the bad advice because I won't listen to you in the first place after all. Yeah, but I wouldn't yeah. want to mislead someone else. Mm, cause going to do something like, yes. yeah, yeah. But I can listen to your bad advice. It doesn't mean I'm going to take obey it, or yeah, take yeah. it. Yeah. Respect that. So uh, final one. I'm sad, guys. <laughs> final one. Um, would you rather give up acting or eat the same meal for the rest of your life? Give up acting or, or eat the same meal for the rest of your life, morning, afternoon, evening, till you know. I eat the same meal for the rest yeah. of my life. Acting is acting is your life. You yes, know, you really can't <laughs> give that up. Yes, yeah, got it, got it, <laughs> guys. We have come to the end of Rapid Fire and today's episode. I really just have to thank you. Like, thank you so much for making it. Like, we all appreciate it. I appreciate it. This is a dream come true for me. I. I didn't even know this would ever happen anytime soon. Thank I'm you. grateful. Um, I don't even know what to say. Jackie, is there anything that, uh, you know, you're working on, you know, or any message that you have, you know, to the fans, viewers, new fans that you've made from this episode? <laughs> is there anything that you want them to know? Um, uh, I have two projects coming out. Um, one is The Beauty Myth. It's a documentary. And the other one is Stolen Child. So you should watch out for those documentaries, yeah. which will hit your screens very yeah. shortly. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, watch out. Watch out. Yeah. Watch out. Watch out. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's been a lovely time. And that's how we wrap up today's episode of Honestly Speaking. Very special thank you goes to Jackie Apia for you know allowing us to interview here. Thank you goes to La Palm Royal Beach Hotel and Afro Lounge for providing us with the space to conduct our interviews. Don't forget to like, subscribe, you know, share the link and comment who you want to see next. Until next time, ciao, ciao.